Today we're going to learn a little bit about a new game on Board Game Arena called PI for Private Investigator. Um, this game is incredibly clever. I hope to see lots of you playing this soon. I would love to start lots of games of this. I just asked a friend to help me do a quick demo. I'm going to get you all the highlights as fast as I can. So in this game you have all of these different locations on the board. Um, Lakeside, Forest Park, Little Italy, um, Tricadero, Ocean Drive, Chinatown, Central Station, Main Street. Anyway, you get the point. Each one of these little cards with a different background and three things on top of it is a location. You are going to go into this town and investigate um, some bad things that have been happening. Each player will draw three of the correct cards down here for the player to the right or left. I forget off the top of my hand, but it's very clearly marked who has your cards. Not that it particularly matters who has it in the online version since they never have to check the board and give you the answer. Um, the evidence cards are a person, a place, and the crime that they have committed. So you can see police corruption is highlighted here on the screen showing that it happened in Waterfront. Roadhouse is an actual, well, roadhouse, so all the middle numbers match the locations, but the people are randomly shuffled around as well. So Doc is also at the roadhouse. So this guy is really, really hoping to hit roadhouse with a clue at some point. The three actions you can do on your turn is either place an investigator, take an evidence card, or uh, solve the puzzle. The benefit to solving the puzzle first is you get seven points. If someone else can finish it in the same turn, there's a little first player token, they also get seven points. So you can have multiple people solving the puzzle at the same time. That's perfectly okay. Any players who are left over, if there's only one player left over unsolved, they get zero points for the round, they get nothing, you move on to the next round. But any remaining players, if you're playing a multiplayer game, Continue solving with the next person to solve getting five points. Again, same number of points for that same round. And then three. Um, and then if you have lots of players, more than four, you can have one. I didn't look to see what this goes to. I'm assuming by this board it goes to five players. Now down at the bottom you have penalty tokens. Each player, if they try to solve and they're incorrect, will move down on the penalty track, losing two points each time. There doesn't seem to be a penalty past negative 10, other than the fact that they're wasting their turns not doing anything consistently, and thus are unlikely to win with that many penalty points anyway. Uh, let's let him take his action and tell him to play now. Alright, he sent an investigator to Trocadero, and when he did, it says no matches. That means that his person his place and his action or uh, crime do not match this tile and do not match any surrounding tiles. Lakeside, Forest Park, Little Italy, Ocean Drive, Central Station, Main Street. Not a single one of these cards has any of his stuff, which is actually really powerful for him as far as a clue goes. But now it's my turn to place an investigator or use a card. The only thing you need to know, the investigators are really powerful, but you have five for the entire game. You don't get these back. So I'm going to use my investigator at that same location, and I get three little cubes. The cubes versus discs. The discs mean you have it exactly right. you got the right location with the right thing, but the cubes mean that it's adjacent. So all of my solutions are up here, and none of his solutions are. Um, he's probably going to waste another investigator since he has no idea where he's supposed to be going now. He did. So he placed another investigator down here in the downtown region and got a clue that it's one away. He's got a cube. So now we can see his dock and roadhouse are not adjacent. They're not right next to the downtown. But his police corruption is. He just doesn't know whether it's the crime, the person, or the place that he's close to being right about. He's going to have to figure that out as we go. When you select a person or one of these cards at the top, you get to find out stuff about that location. So let me see, which person do I want to check on? 
I know Doc isn't mine. Um, I know they're all close by. You know what? I'm going to check Lakeside. And Lakeside is completely unrelated to my case. That means it can't be Forest Park, Lakeside, or Little Italy. It can only be Central Station, Main Street, or Ocean Drive for me now. I think he doesn't understand this game or just misclicked because he just went to Trocadero, which he already knows absolutely nothing applies to. Um, I told him just to make his moves fast, so he probably just picked a card randomly. Um, let me see, what did I know? Well, let me review. I have the Lakeside Evidence card, and I know it's nothing there, so Main Street's perfect. This will tell me whether it's Ocean Drive, Central Station, or Main Street. Okay, it's one of these two, Central Station or Ocean Drive. Still don't know which. I know it has to be adjacent to this and next to one of those two. I'll just keep that in mind for the future, and I'm going to try to go for non-locations now. Um, well, Ocean Drive, I can actually check directly. Ah, let's find out. Let's, it, oh, okay. So Ocean Drive is 100% correct. I now know that for sure part of my solution has been done. Um, what do I want to check next? I need to check the person shorty and option. Shorty, let's check shorty. Hey, I got a second one right. So all I need to do is figure out which crime was pr uh, committed. It could be protection racket, blackmail, smuggling, jewelry, or bank job. Don't know which. Uh, forgery, was that an option or near an option? Where's forgery? on the? Okay, it's lighting up. It's over here. So forgery would only tell me about bank job. Mob killing would only tell me about bank job. Protection racket, that's good. It'll tell me if it's blackmail or protection racket. Okay, it's blackmail. So I now have enough to solve. Alrighty, so I'm going to solve the case. And I'm going to claim that it's shorty at Ocean Drive with blackmail. And confirm that that is my guess. And I was correct. I mean, I knew I was because of which cubes and which discs were where. And then you start a new round and go all over again. So I'm going to place an investigator, get some clues. I know it's two adjacent things, but nothing on this tile itself. You continue doing this process um, for a while until you can solve all the cases. In a two-player game, it basically becomes a race to who can solve two cases. I'm going to go down here. So I know there's exactly one solution here, and I know these two places have none of my solutions. So I have these four locations up here to try to search in this round to be able to get to what I'm doing. This is enough for you to be able to play the game. You just continue this process until you know everything you need to know. Now, do I know anything because of his about those top four areas? Yeah, I know nothing about his because of those top four. So Lakeside, sure. That'll give me something. Oh, found it exactly. Being very lucky. And then, so I know the location. I need to find out about the people. So let's check Doc. Sure, why not? So I know it's not Doc, and I know it's not the Earl. It's either Frenchy or Shorty, and I can check Shorty next turn. So let me check on Shorty. It is not Shorty, which means it's also not Frenchy. And Doc and Earl were ruled out, and this ruled out Rusty and the No Suspect. So these two clues were for the crime and the thing, which means this clue is for my suspect. I know it has to be Bubbles now. Hopefully that makes sense why, because the Doc clue eliminated Earl and Shorty or Earl and Doc, and then the Shorty clue eliminated Frenchie and Shorty, and these two investigators, this one has only got one on itself and nothing surrounding, 
So these two entire cards were out, meaning I've eliminated every possible suspect up here. The only suspect then has to be bubbles. There are only three types of things. So now I just need to find out which crime was committed. Uh, let's check on murder, sure. Hey, found it. Now I win my round and continue on. I'm good with this though, that's enough for you to get the hang of the game. With multiple players, it, the other players' clues, as they start to hone in on what they know, or if you start solving their clues for them, will give you a good idea of eliminating some suspects of your own. That's PI. I hope you enjoy. I hope you go play soon. Send me some invites. I'll play this with anyone. Looks like a great game. Really enjoying my first few.